Welcome to the Sports Science Collective Coaching Science Series. In this video, we compare explicit and implicit learning in sport. Explicit learning comes from traditional coaching practices where verbal instruction is used to coach an athlete about how to perform a skill. In contrast, implicit learning methods typically contain little or no formal instruction about the skill mechanics, yet results in a learner being able to perform the skill. This learning occurs despite the individual being unable to verbally describe how they do it. A great example of implicit learning is learning to ride the bike. Previous research comparing implicit and explicit learning methods have found similar results in learning over time. Evidence suggests that skills learned under implicit coaching practices are less susceptible to breaking down under pressure. Skilled athletes who do not have explicit coaching instructions occupying their thoughts have a decreased reliance on instruction and are less likely to experience choking during skill execution. Further benefits associated with implicitly learned skills include increased resistance to fatigue, the skills are more durable over time, and instructions are not occupying attention. This allows attention to be used to perceive and process relevant information from sensory systems so that the athlete can anticipate play and make better decisions before executing skills. Methods of implicit learning. Firstly, implicit learning can be achieved by decreasing the amount of instruction given or teaching movements using an analogy. Another method is to decrease the amount of verbal feedback after movement forcing the athlete to instead utilise sensory systems for feedback. The overall aim of implicit learning is to give the individual ownership of their movement and shift away from relying on the coach's instruction. Which learning style do you prefer? Thanks for watching.